Well, it is definitely raining pretty steadily out there. The plan was for today to head out into the Bardelas Reales, but if it's pouring with rain, then I don't know. I think I'm going to chance it. I'm at least going to go out there and see what the conditions are like. But for now, coffee, let's get going. Okay, it stopped raining. Things are looking a lot better out there. Yeah, so quickly going to go pack up the bike and go see what we can see. Gracias, adios. I'll reiterate this again. I said it in my one of my previous videos up there or up there, wherever it is. Pack light. Turns out you can actually get away with uh, wearing the same pair of socks two days in a row. It's definitely better to keep the weight down. Just a couple of small side bags, a top bag, my backpack, and that's about it. Don't need very much else than that, especially for a shorter trip like this. Another thing that's becoming very readily apparent to me on this trip is how very urgently I need to learn how to speak Spanish. Not only for trips back to Spain, which I'll most certainly be doing, but to obviously other Spanish-speaking countries too, and there are many, many of them. It's been a little, uh, <laughs> little, little hard to communicate uh, using Google Translate and what very little spotty Spanish that I have. Turned out to be a beautiful day. Hopefully it lasts. Let's go. Check that thing out. It's a whole castle over there. I am not in the market for castles today. Okay, I'm coming up to my intersection with the route into the great unknown. So this is where I'll be switching from Google Maps and the Gaia Maps, which is using the Tet GPS route. Then I'll go see what's out there. Looks like a dirt road to me. This is my first real outing on a bigger adventure bike and uh, I'm really starting to get more comfortable with it. I don't want to speak too soon, watch me come off now in a minute. One thing it doesn't like is to stand still. It wants to keep moving, cornering. It just sort of sticks. It hangs on to the ground, especially with these Midas E10 tires. And I feel like I'm not even close to pushing it to what it's capable of. Of course I'm not. That looks pretty muddy in there. Mm, pretty muddy out here too. Oh, I guess my wheels, my tires are caked in mud. It looks maybe more doable. Part of Spain is just gorgeous. These little towns, tiny little streets. You can see why European cars tend to be so small. Well, keep forgetting to turn traction, con uh, not traction control, ABS off. Looks like I go that away. Whoa! <laughs> All right, a little looser than expected. Uh, it's interesting. This is a kind of sandy surface, but it's wet. Try to pick a dry, drier line. Oh my god. A little rutted. Or corrugations, I should say. Testing how well I've strapped my luggage on here. Uh, 
Ah, it looks like I might get an up close uh, view of one of these wind farms. How close can I get to these guys? Okay, so I guess I go on this, this little track. It's slightly on the back of my mind that I've seen literally no other bikers out here on any section of this since I've started. So if I get myself into trouble, it could be a little bit of a long wait until somebody shows up. That's not going to happen, right? Definitely not. <laughs> I'm seriously off road now. Woo! <laughs> Woo! -hoo. Come on, Tenere. That's how you do it. Okay, where's this going? It is going up the other side there. I'm gonna go check it out before I commit to anything. Hmm. <laughs> that is very steep. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, I am not gonna do that. Also, I think it's starting to rain. I am so, so happy with this bike. <sighs> Trying to decide if I need a name for it. I'm not really a naming, naming of bikes kind of person. But I don't know. We're developing, you know, a bit of a relationship. So I'll be mulling that over as I continue on. I'm doing the old rocking it up and down the slope on the side here technique. And we're good. And here comes the rain. Come on, hold off. Work with me here. Bouncing back down this hill again. I actually think I do see a route that I can take. I've noticed uh, on the Tet, they sort of, the routes seem to take you on these little side quests if you want them, which is nice. It's really cool, actually. I mean, it means that is so much more accessible for all kinds of riders, you know? Like complete idiot novices like me. I'm not calling it novices idiots, of course. Woo. Nope, 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 no. Do not drop the bike. Which is entirely possible in this mud. Nicely done. <laughs> Rain's kind of coming down, so I'll pause under this tree. Please go down the bottom there and hit subscribe if you haven't already. Guess what? It started hailing. I mean, it's not cold, but that is actually hail. That's a turn up for the books, I will say. Maybe it'll snow next. Back on the road. And I'm going to avoid all of the little detours and weird little rocky trails that the route seems to be sending me on. Man, that clay, that kind of clay surface was just sort of sticking in the tread of the tires, turning them basically into slicks. Once again, managed to keep it upright. <laughs> it will not beat me. Stick to the gravelly bits. This landscape is incredible.
What's the best approach here, do you think? How muddy is this? Should have got a little more momentum there. That was dumb. Yeah, let's go this way. Okay, well, I guess it was bound to happen. Let me just shake, walk it off for a second and get my bike back up, if I can. <clears throat> Come on, maybe I should take my luggage off. <clears throat> okay, now that's heavy. Can I get this up somehow? <clears throat> huh, won't budge. It's just not moving. This could be a problem. <laughs> Victory! <laughs> well, if it didn't need to be cleaned before, it definitely does now. That was a thing. Leg feels like it's going to be stiff tomorrow. All right. <laughs> well, I guess I'm going to scrape off some of this mud, get my luggage stowed again, and press on. Okay, bike's back on its feet. I'm back on my feet. No issues, seemingly, with the bike. Might have to get myself some uh, painkillers this evening. Nothing broken. Let's get out there. am I gonna get out of this? I'm just trying to get my uh, wheels lined up into one of these ruts because otherwise one wheel will go one rut and the other wheel will go in the other rut. Come on. Am I making any progress at all? I wonder. Where are you from? Ireland. Austria, Ireland. <laughs> Ireland in motorbike. Yeah. Yeah, la, long way. Tenere, yes, exactly. <laughs> 700 and heavy. <laughs> Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Have a good day. Hector to the rescue. <laughs> wow. That was tough. How long have I been here? Maybe hmm, an hour? Check this out. That's why I came off. There's no tread there that you can see. <sighs> Legs feeling so-so. Uh, I'm extremely sweaty. Putting the adventure in adventure motorcycling, that's for sure. <sighs> now for my next trick, getting out of here, this little section on two wheels. <laughs> I'm so cautious now, oh my god. Just walk it. Nice and slow. Even this one little stretch here is kind of giving me the heebie-jeebies. Look at that. Tarmac. Oh. My god. Woo! Now, nice and slow for a bit while I get all this mud off the tires. How about we go look at some nice, peaceful, panoramic views? How does that sound? Sounds pretty good to me. That was a pain in the ring. But, it did at least allow the weather to clear completely, which allows me, <coughs> me, to see what I think is coming up in the next couple of corners. It's a lot of work, but I made it. 
So was it worth it? Yeah, I think so. This thing is called a Castile del Tierra. Incredible looking structure. I believe it's been in a movie or two. Amazing. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to support what I do, please go down the bottom there and hit the subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.